Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video where I'm going to be giving you the basics on how to build an airplane. Now if you've been watching my tutorial series I talked all about engines and cars and boats and lastly helicopters. Now we're going into airplanes. So airplanes feature a couple of very important aspects as I'm going to show in this video. This video is intended for beginners. But if you are more advanced, feel free to stick around, maybe learn something, and if not, hopefully you're at least entertained. So we're looking at one of my airplanes. This is probably one of my earliest creations, like I'd say it's in my first 10 creations I ever made. So I'm not saying this is going to win any beauty contests. And I could even see some mistakes with painting and such. But the idea is that it flies. So we have propellers, we have the wings with all kinds of control devices, rudders, fins, ailerons, and we have the ability to provide thrust and gain forward motion. So we're going to go to the workbench and in the workbench, we will start off by making a plane body. Now there are a few things if you just type in plane you can see we got propulsion, we got an aircraft propeller. So this one has collective, but it doesn't have the other ones that the helicopter um, rotor has. So this one has pitch roll, whereas the aircraft one or plane one only has the collective. Then we have a lot of control surfaces and we have a bunch of wings. Now you'll see some of these wings are absolutely massive and uh, they're just filled with a bunch of blocks but you can't delete individual blocks you just delete the whole thing and like i said you got a few sizes including an extra large or xxl xl i'm not going to go through all of them this one is interesting there is a front wing section and what you'll note is that it only weighs five mass when really it should weigh in bottom corner seven so we have or sorry not seven seven by three twenty one so we have seven in this direction and we have three in this direction so 21 whereas it only weighs five so it only weighs one quarter roughly of the weight so what i used to do is put a bunch of these in my ships to make them not sag in the water but then i found the detrimental effect of lift when you put these, your vehicle or whatever this is on will act like a sail. It won't act like a normal part. So keep that in mind as you do this. Anyway, we're going to make a quick airplane body. Now bear with me as this is not going to be a thing of beauty, but it will hopefully gain us some lift. So I'm going to do this back here. We can throw on something like this. To kind of mimic the tail of a plane the body itself can be ugly i really think it's fine and what we can do is put wings so if we have a very very basic idea of our plane this is gonna be it now again in your game i do recommend you do this properly for your own sake now you could notice i put these wings well, why would I use those if we have this? So let's go ahead and delete this and replace this with these. Now, I do think that they should be a little forward, more forward. Call it there and there. And we can go ahead and delete all that. And this thing is way too stubby. So let's say the nose is somewhere as such. Still a little wacky and out of proportion, but we'll see. So airplanes what do they have well we threw the wings on now these wings are just a lifting surface as you see here let's add some wheels wheel coaster we could just add coasters here and i will add two coasters there hopefully those can provide us with all we need to get moving forward of course you will need a seat whether you want to use a pilot seat or driver's seat or whatever that is up to you we're just seeing if this flying car, let's call it, can fly. So we've put on this. So again, if we type in plane, you can see the other things. So we have 
control surfaces and then we have the propeller so we've got to get moving propeller will help us keep moving through the air alternatively yes you can use a jet not a fluid jet but an actual jet can be used with the um, afterburner and or just jet exhaust and you can have thrust pushed through the jet engine there you could watch my jet engine tutorial i'm just going to use a simple plain propeller nothing fancy here now you can see this thing is quite large and you don't have to use that you can use anything that will get you forward motion fast enough so you can lift off you can even use this small ducted vent if you want so i'm just going to go ahead and throw that on at the very front and let's just make sure that it's actually lifted up such that i can at least attach a motor and a motor let's see if this is strong enough to get it spinning to move forward if not then we have to put a more powerful engine i'm not going to cover how to make an engine in this video that's a different video but you need a power source for forward thrust for motion for momentum now again jump back to the plane things we have a bunch of control surfaces so as i mentioned you have you could put a tail rudder or you should put a tail rudder and then you have these flaps here now different flaps can ultimately do different things and there are the flaps in this direction on your tail now i'm not an aviator i don't know the names of all these but what i do know is that there are certain ones that we place in certain places so really you'd need this configuration i'd say at a minimum so the green one here will provide you with your yaw it'll allow you to kind of turn on the spot kind of like a car you turn then these ones here is normally what i do to provide pitch so th with these you can lift up or down by putting them obviously up or down now for these on the wings normally what i do is i actually flip one upside down such that the arrow is opposite of the one over there and this is how i get my roll so whatever you put on these it will cause your airplane to kind of tilt in or rotate let's call it so we have that i'm going to give these ones a blue color so now we have all of our different ailerons attached in this case we need a power source for this plane it'll be a battery this is an electric powered plane i suppose but if you are um making your own creation i'd recommend using an engine but regardless let's just attach everything and i might need to use infinite electricity but we can go ahead and attach all these to the electricity now to the seat there's a few things firstly let's just go ahead and put a little throttle now this throttle is only for the um little motor here to get this thing spinning and hopefully us moving forward and lastly what we want to do is attach all of these other control surfaces on the seat we're going to go ahead and put roll then we're going to go ahead and put pitch and then we're going to go ahead and put yaw so yaw is left and right that one is the easiest just find left and right attach it to the back then we have ad which is roll so ad will go to this one and to this one and then last but not least we got ws which is pitch so we find ws and we go to that if we spawn this in first of all it's going to look like a monstrosity but if it works then i'll say mission accomplished so if we push w and s you could see those are working and that's providing our pitch then if i press ad you could see these rotate in the opposite direction and if i press left and right arrow we get movement there on the tail rudder now if i give this power oh not in that direction either i can give it a negative um throttle or i can spin this thing 
around. I'm just going to opt to spin this thing around. I guess I should have seen the arrows there. We're going to try that again, but keep in mind, as I apply power, we have to use W and S to lift ourselves off. So provide power and we push these up and that will hopefully give us the lift we need. Nope. So it wasn't enough to provide lift. So what I'm thinking is that our airplane is either too heavy or we're not getting enough forward motion out of this motor. Could be a combination of the two, but what I will do for starters is remove two of the batteries. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn this in, but I'm also gonna apply infinite electric. So now if I provide forward throttle and push this up, there we go. And we're flying. So all I did was use W and S and now we've positioned ourselves. Now, depending on your airplane's balancing, it could cause the plane to want to permanently lift up such as this. I'm not doing anything and it's trying to lift up versus kind of holding steady. So that is something to keep in mind too. And then another thing is let's try out our other things so we can roll Okay, a little unstable for sure. And then we should be also able to pitch. Okay, you can see that this is quite an unstable airplane. So this wouldn't be a good example, but we're up in the air. So you've pretty much seen the uh, proof of concept, I guess back to the drawing board you can imagine it is unbalanced because look where the center of gravity is in relationship to the wings so it's heavily wanting to lean back and that's why it's constantly trying to go up now if you were to wait way down the front then you'd have a more balanced experience now I also have a tutorial for making a altitude hold I recommend watching something like that because that will make your airplane balance itself out alternatively but keep in mind that adding weight on the front will prevent our airplane from getting lift because you don't have you have too much weight on the front and the thing is not able to take off so I'm gonna ditch this and that's going to go and crash over there. Putting a larger motor or engine, or in this case, just an electric power plant, gives us more thrust, and that thrust can be converted into forward motion and allow us to take off. So, like I said, yes, this is unstable, but here we are flying, and the more powerful you make your engine, you do get an advantage of having more lift. Let's see if we can go in and land. Again, even my controls are inverted, so you have to be careful. Oh, pull up. Definitely don't land this way. Oh, the thing didn't even crash. Oh, look at that. Not even damaged. Is that a successful landing? Maybe. I don't recommend using a gyroscope from a helicopter. It won't give you the right kind of um, control. So I just tested it out for you and I'd recommend sticking to direct controls. Otherwise, if you really want that, you can custom make one. But if you're a beginner, you probably don't know how to custom make one. So in that case, I recommend you find a plane stabilizer. Also, by putting this portion of your wing a little higher, you should have better control. Also, a longer airplane does give you more control than a narrow airplane, just because it allows the, um, the parts have kind of a separation and a distance. So let's just try to expand on this brutal airplane. Again, I'm not doing this for the looks, I'm doing this for information purposes I recommend all of you guys to make your own 
much better looking creations. I strongly encourage it, in fact, because this is quite bad. A couple things I did to make it a little bit more stable, added bigger wheels and gave it a bit more of a separation between the ground and the uh, propeller so it doesn't get broken. And one thing that I made a mistake on is these were inverted so you just want to select it and hit I to flip this one and we'll go to this one and hit I and you see that it's flipped and then go to the bodies and make sure they're linked up. Everything should be in the correct orientation now. So you see that we have our nice flying machine. Yes, it looks brutal. And yes, it's on infinite electricity. You do have to make sure you have a strong enough motor. But you see if we start at the motor and I'm holding S, it takes off pretty easily. And now with these bigger wheels, it doesn't uh, have a bit of issues. You can see also it's keeping a little bit more stable. And now if I press A and D, I could um, roll. Now it's rolling too fast and too much. So keep in mind, we'll have to take a look in another video how to make a more stable airplane. But overall, this creation does let us fly at a very basic level but you know you can do all the necessary air movements that uh, pretty much entail flying an airplane so even uh, lining up for approach and everything you could see that we are able to do all that more or less um, yes it still kind of weighs little and it still kind of handles a little bit funny but you know this is a basic video intended for basic flyers now one thing that you can always do, sensitivity here on your seat. So we can maybe say that our roll was too drastic. So we can turn it down like this, but I wouldn't even recommend that. I would get a function and pretty much multiply it by 0.5 just to slow it down or even 0.4, whatever. So you don't have as much... Um, the rolling is pretty pretty pronounced I would say and we want to kind of slow down and again this is just using a very basic basic function so now in this instance if we go to roll you could see that we're rolling yes it is a little bit of a delayed response but we don't end up kind of flapping around like crazy now these uh, rudders are way too big for this size of plane you probably for sure could get away with using the small rudders so thank you all for watching stay tuned for more videos stay tuned for more creations for content for all kinds of fun stuff i do want to give a huge shout out to all of my supporters my discord server boosters and my youtube members they get to enjoy early access to things and they get to show me some extra love and appreciation for what I do. So I do thank all of them. And I do thank all of you for participating, for being a part of the community. Oh, wow. Oh, and we're still going, apparently. All right, I'll take it. So again, not beautiful, not stable, but it will fly. So thank you all for watching. And until next time, happy stormworksing.